Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at a Harbor Freight Braun Slim Bar Work Light Killer. This is also a Snap-on Slim Bar Work Light Killer because Snap-on makes this same identical light but sells it for a whole lot more money. I know that a lot of my viewers like to shop at Harbor Freight and I get a lot of questions from you guys asking how good is the Braun 390 lumen Slim Bar Work Light. So when I came across this double sided 800 lumen Slim Bar Work Light from Next LED, I knew I had to bring it to your attention. This light is the same design as the single sided Slim Bar Work Light from Braun, but it has more power whether you're using one side or both sides. It blows away the Braun and the Snap-on with higher lumens and lower price. So let's look at this new Slim Bar Work Life from Next LED and see how it performs. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you, Next LED. Slim Bar Work Light. Let's take a look at this puppy now. Alright guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. Now this is the 800 lumens double sided Slim Bar Work Light from Next LED, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this light retails for $43.99. But they also have a 5% discount on their Amazon page, so you can save even more money with that. And if I do come across any discounts, I will also put that in the description down below. So check that out before you do anything. So what do you get when you unbox this puppy? Well, you get the light itself, the USB-C charging cable, and that's it. All the instructions pretty much are on the box itself, so you don't need a manual. Just read the box. That's the manual right there. Now, it wouldn't be fair to do a comparison with this guy without the brawn. So, here we go. I have them both right here next to each other. Let me get rid of the cable. And here you go. You can see this one is the next LED. This one is the brawn right there. In case you're curious, there you go. That's the brawn name right there. Now, I've had this light for several years, and it's an okay light. It's worked out just fine for me, but this one promises to be a whole heck of a lot better. So, let's compare the two and see how they stack up. Well, this one comes with a one-year warranty. Harbor Freight, 90 days. The dimension, they're all the same, 13 and a half inches. They're both made out of cast aluminum, and they have a nice black body to them. The next LED is IPX4 waterproof. Harbor Freight, unknown. They don't mention it anywhere on their packaging or on their website. They both have strong magnets at the bottom, so that comes in really handy when you're doing any kind of work. It allows you to go hands-free. The next LED uses an USB-C charging system. Harbor Freight uses a micro USB charging. They both work while they're charging. The next LED is powered by a 3.7-volt 2200 milliamp 18650 battery. Braun uses a standard 18650 battery. The next LED has two LED cobs. As you can see, one on the front, one on the back. Two LED cobs to choose from. And basically what you get as far as lumens go, on one cob, you get 500 lumens and that'll run for three hours. Harbor Freight has only one cob, there's nothing on the back. If you look at it, you have one cob there, nothing on the back. Just one cob on the front, nothing there. So, next LED, one cob, 500 lumens. Harbor Freight, one cob, 390 lumens. So already on one cob, you have a lot more power. Runtime, three hours on one cob. Runtime, two and a half hours on one cob. Two cobs, if you run this one, the next LED on two cobs, you have 800 lumens. Runtime, eight hours. Not applicable here. The tip, they both have flashlights on the tip, as you can see right there. The next LED is 50 lumens. Harbor Freight, I couldn't find the specs on that. Harbor Freight, don't know how long it'll run. Next LED, 24 hours when using the tip flashlight. Now, they both rotate 270 degrees horizontally and 180 degrees vertically. So, in other words, you can bend it over like that, 180 degrees, both directions, and it'll rotate this way. You can rotate the handle, which you really don't need much on this one because all you do is flip it around. That is a much more important feature on the Braun because you may need to flip it from side to side, which this one's always been a little stiff. 
But there you go. Anyway, so you get rotation 270 degrees or 180. Both are pretty much the same. So both these lights are really good for automotive work, household repairs. This one is good for outdoor projects. This one, not so sure because I don't know how wet you can get this one. This one, if you get it wet, just dry it off and keep on going. Good for emergency use, all that kind of stuff. So general purpose use anywhere around the house or automotive use. So let's see how the next LED light performs when we put it through some testing. All right, so first of all, before we start doing some testing on the next LED and see how it performs, let's take a little closer look at the two lights here so you see exactly what I mean, how this one is a brawn killer because it's the exact same light with more features. You look at them right there, both the same length. They both have magnets on the bottom so you can attach them hands-free. You can see the dimensions, they're both the same from the bottom. From the top, again, both about the same dimensions, both about the same. The next LED is a little thicker because it has two cobs to it. When you put them side by side, you can see they're both about the same. Next LED is a little thicker because it has two cobs. You need to allow room to have both those cobs there. This one's slimmer because it's only one cob. Again, you see the dimension? They're both the same lights, pretty much. Now, as far as lighting goes, let me, I'm just gonna light them right here pointing downward so you can see roughly how they look. This isn't a very accurate test, but it'll give you a visual representation of how the lighting looks. And they both got charged up before I started doing this test. So let's see right here, that's the next LED. That's the brawn right there. Now, the camera may attenuate some of the lighting for the two lights, but to me here looking at on the bench, the next LED, this one here, does have a brighter light output than the Braun over here. Remember this one is 500 lumens, this one's 390. So it has a brighter light to it than the Braun. So let's go look at it in a practical application, see how it works. But you can see right here where you have one and if you use one cob, you get one direction. Use two cobs, you get two directions of illumination. That's 800 lumens, so that gives you a lot more light so you can light up different things around your area. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you right here in a dark engine bay why it's convenient to have two sources of light when you're working. For example, I'm gonna put the light down there right now and show you in a dark area, when you light up one cob, it gives you good lighting, very convenient. That's 500 lumens, very good. But you notice how it's hard to see because you have a dark area that kind of swallows up some of the light. So let's start again. And if you go with one light, add the second one, and that gives you so much more light, makes it more convenient to work because the backlight bounces off the other areas, giving you better illumination. So having two light sources will give you a lot better lighting so you can see what you're doing on your project. It lights up everything more conveniently. So instead of having a black void that sucks up your light, you're bouncing it off and you're making it easier to light up whatever it is you're working on. So it makes it easier for you to see everything, get around, figure out what you're doing, etc. So the more light, more better. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you right now what it looks like to have this light and use it as an inspection camera, uh, emergency use camera, anything like that when you have to light up a large open area like this. So the lights are out, everything is pitch black. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now is one cob, that's 500 lumens. And then we're gonna rotate and go to both cobs and show you how the extra light bounces off the surrounding areas, giving you more lighting to make it easier for you to get around. So let's start that. And I'm gonna put it above the camera because obviously if I turn on the second cob, it'll be aiming right at the camera and you won't be able to see anything. So I'm gonna lift it up up here so that way you can see more evenly what's going on. All right guys, so well, here we go. I have the lights all turned out. I'm gonna turn on one cob. That's one cob right there. And there's a second cob right there. And that shows you how well it adds light to the room so you can see exactly where you're going when you have both cobs going. Instead of 500 lumens with one cob, you get 800 lumens with both cobs. It's enough to light up an area so you can comfortably walk around, see where you're going and figure out what you need to do. For example, as an inspection light, if you need to do some plumbing work in a basement or something like that, you need to go into a cellar and find your way around. The lights are out, it's a hurricane. You need to get things taken care of. This light works perfect for that. You need to go up into an attic and do some repair work up there when you have no lighting available to you. This light works great for that. Because instead of having a focus beam on something, which it does have the flashlight on the tip, you can use it as a general light to light up your entire area so you can see what needs to be done much more conveniently. So there you have it. 
All right, guys, there you have it. A review and demonstration of the Next LED dual sided 800 lumen slim bar work light. I think this is a really great light when compared to the Braun 390 lumens work light from Harbor Freight or the folding light from Snap On. Either way, you get more power and a lower price with the Next LED light. So if you've been thinking about getting the Braun 390 lumen slim bar work light from Harbor Freight, why not take a look at this guy from Next LED first? For a small price difference, you can get a better light with more power, more features, and a longer warranty. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.